Hey, what is up people? It is your boy Johnny and this video I'm going to show you how to get all of the TMs and TRs and Pokemon Sword and Shield and believe it or not in this video you will be getting all of the TMs of, of their location where you can find them as well as where the location where you can find all of the TRs which are pretty self-explanatory for the TRs but I might as well show you where you can buy them all as well with the watts points and Please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and make sure to leave a comment. Um, this is not the end of the video. The video is still going to continue. So I'm just going to put a montage of every single TM and TR that you can get in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hey, what is up people? It's your boy Johnny. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fight TM57 Payback. So once you get out of Magnolia's house, when you're in Ma uh, Professor Magnolia's house, you're going to go ahead and go into the back of her yard. And you're just going to keep going all the way back until you actually see this gold Pokeball. And you have found TM57 Payback. So this is actually pretty easy early on in the game in order to find this TM. Anyways guys, thank you. The TM Electro Web can actually be found in the area in Holberry. So once you make it to Holberry, just make sure to go near the lighthouse and then the, behind it on the corner all the way to the end, you should be able to find the Electro Web uh, TM. The Solar Bean TM can be found in Turf Field, which is basically turf field uh, once you're able to use your rod and bike with swimming you'll be able to find this in the area where there you can access the water In order to get the TM Screech, you're going to have to be in the hotel, Churchester, in the town, Churchester, I mean, in the hotels in the second floor. You're going to want to find the room until the guy with the backpack appears, and you're going to talk to him, and he's going to basically give you the TM Screech, TM16. For the next TM, it's actually pretty quite easy as well. This all you have to do is compete in the rally courses or challenges as you may speak. And you have to get a certain amount of points. I think it was 2,000. I'm not sure. And he'll reward you with the TM80 Volt Switch, which is can be useful for uh, electricity type Pokemon. So any of them should be able to give you this after you complete their goal. In order to get TM Mudshot 53, all you have to do is go back to Galar Mine 2. So once you're able to swim with your rod and bicycle, all you have to do is go back to the Galar Mine 2 to find this TM. It should be pretty easy. Um, just keep looking around until you're able to find it in the water areas and you should be able to get it.
Psycho cut. Okay, we got Psycho cut. And another TM there. Oh, crap. My paper ripped. I said I could, could use it, if anything, I needed anything. Alright, there is a TM back here, actually. Eerie Impulse, what the hell is this? TM-93 Eerie Impulse. Cell battery. You seriously beat Pierce? Here's a TM to remember this moment. Snarl. Pretty good attack. I actually like it. Hey, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad the champions come to sort things out. Oh, hey, you Pierce, are you trashing? Can't you just here head over, come and help them? What do you think about my secret beach? It's a small mysterious paradise located on a very cold ocean. You always come here. I'll give you a, a present. Okay, they gave me dive. I remember an emerald um, that that TM was really useful. In order to get the TM57 Avalancha, you're gonna have to go ahead and already have your upgraded bicycle where you can go in the water and you're gonna have to go into this area where it seems kind of hidden on Route 9 and you'll be able to find it if you go in the water. It's by the bridge, so you should be able to get this TM. And Churchester, you will be able to find the TM-51 Icicle Spear if you go to the little spring area. And you should be able to find it. It's really not that hard to find this one. It's not even that hidden. Continuing our adventure in Churchester, the town, you're going to be able to find another TM, TM-27 Icy Wind, 
if you go into one of the buildings and talk to one of the ladies and she will give you the icing wind tm In the rooms with the hotel, you're going to have to go to Churchester and go into the hotel. And there is another room that actually has a person with a ton of Pikachus. And if you talk to him, he will give you fake tears as TM47. You will be able to find another TM, and this is Brick Break 43, and this is in Route 9, almost by the exit when you are about to head to Churchester. You should be able to find one hidden in that compartment. You may have to battle a Pokemon because it's standing in its way of the Brick Break. On Route 8, if you explore around, you will be able to find TM-96 Smart Strike. I should go back because... Uh... In the same Bellini in town, you will be able to find TM21 Rest. Uh, if you continue looking around in the area, you should be able to find it in the yellow Pokeball. In Bellini town, you will be able to find TM77 Hex. And if you go into one of the houses and talk to the lady, and she will go ahead and give you TM77 Hex. So in the same forest as before, you will be able to find it in the Baloney Forest, or I forgot what route it was. I think it was Route 7 or 8 around there. Um, you'll be able to find another TM, which is U-Turn TM56. So just keep looking around, and eventually it'll pop up for you. In order to find TM24 Snore, you're actually going to be finding it once you make it to the forest behind Baloney Town or Baloney Town, something like that. Uh, basically, just look around and you should be able to find it. And here's my TM for my victory. I swear, I am such a noob. Revenge is the move that kind of messed me up, to be honest. And we get the fighting uniform as well. Let's get the hell out of here and let's go and heal our Pokemon. There is another TM that you can obtain here in this town, believe it or not, that you're going to have to get TM06 if you go inside this building and talk to the guy that flies the taxis with the Corver Knights, or Corvi Knight. Um, so go ahead and go inside the building and you'll be able to give you TM Fly.
So there is actually another item in this area, believe it or not. The TM Venoshock is in Soptai Town. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it, I need to reread that name. Uh, but anyways, you're gonna go up into the roof of the buildings as you're watching in the video, and you will be able to find the TM right there, Venoshock. In the same area around Route 6, you will be able to find a TM called Steel Wing, which is TM30. Um, and you can actually get it, just explore or watch the video so you can get an understanding of where the location is at. The next TM is actually pretty quite easy to get. In order to get your TM uh, for dig, all you have to do is go into the same area where the fossil area was found and right next to the camp you should be able to find it. And this will be around Route 6 when you're in that area. So you should be able to find this pretty easily. To get to EM29 Charm, you're actually going to be able to get this when you go into the story area in the vault. It shouldn't really be that hard to find it. If you're watching the video, you will find the location in Hammerlock Vault. There is another TM found in the wild area, believe it or not, and in order to find this one, just keep walking in the area where I see, you see in the video, and this is for the TM 50, 50, is it 81? Actually, a TM 81 bulldoze, and you should be able to get it. For the next TM39 facade, this is actually obtained in the wild area. So believe it or not, the wild area does indeed carry some TMs and it can be quite confusing if you don't know where to find them. So in the wild area, basically if you look at the video, it's right near the bridge area. You should be able to find it near the bridge. Just go in in the corner and you should be seeing it hiding there. It's in plain sight. It's really not that hard to find. In order for you to get TM14 Thunder Wave, you're going to have to actually start doing the rally challenges where you go around the time and hit a bunch of balloons. So go ahead and keep playing these mini games and try to do your best to score a good score because this will help you an advantage to get rewarded. I think it's like 2000 points or along the lines of that that you have to score in order to be able to get the the Thunderway TM which the guy will indeed give it to you so any guy that looks like a staff you're able to get this TM uh, easily uh, TM 14 Thunderway
TM38 Willow Wisp can be obtained when you beat the third gym, which is Kabu's gym. Okay, so so after you beat him, you'll be able to actually get a TM. They will give it to you. So TM38 Willow Wisps. Wisp. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. For the next TM, Sand Tomb. You can actually get TM-49 in the Galar Mine too, so after you battle this guy, just make sure to go right there where it's at in that little yellow ball in the corner, and you should be able to get the TM-49 Sand Tomb. TM79 is another easy TM to get retaliate. You will basically get this in the story after beating the whole berry gym and everything else that goes on in the story mode. Sonia will be giving you this TM item in the story. Sonia I retaliate. I wonder how many TMs are in this game. I know that they removed a lot of moves from what I heard. This is a good the TM Whirlpool is able to be obtained after you beat the Holberry Gym, which is Nessa's Water Gym. So if you manage to beat her, you will be getting this as a commemorative TM. So this one's actually pretty easy. For the next TM, it is kind of hidden in Route 5, but it's near the Pokemon Nursery. And all you have to do is go all the way down and you will be able to find it near a rock. It's really well hidden. If you don't spot it the first time, you could probably miss it if you're just rushing through it. This is TM31 on track and it's at that location. The next TM is quite easy. You get TM10 Magical Leaf just by beating the gym leader Milo. So after you beat him, you should be commemorated with a TM for your victory. In order to get TM7 Pin Missile, you have to battle that little Pikachu there, or you can dodge him as well. And this will be in the Route 4, as you guys can see in the fields right next to the water. You should be able to find this item. It's really not that hard to miss. For TM97 Brutal Swing, it's actually pretty easy to get it. You can get this item when you're in the Truff Field uh, area in the town. Um, this is obviously next to the stadium where you fight Milo, so... You can actually get it through this route as you see in the video. Just make sure to find a location that looks similar and you should be able to find the TM as well. Brutal Swing. You can also find TM54 Rock Blast in the Galar Mine. You just have to explore around in the area. As you're watching in the video, you'll be able to find it on the top of the mountain in the hill. So... Just keep looking around and you should be able to find TM-54 Rock Blast. For the next TM, you will be able to obtain it in the Galar Mine. This is actually one of the first mines you encounter throughout your storyline. So you should be able to find it. Scary face should be there at a certain location as you look in the video. For the next TM beat up, uh, TM37 is actually pretty quite easy. When you're headed on Route 3, you'll be able to find this TM very close 
to the area on the hill close to the tree where you get some berries so just make sure to explore around that area and you should be able to get this on route 3 The next TM will be pretty easy to find. It is located in Moto Stoke, the city. So once you head into the area that you're watching in the video, all you want to do is go ahead and go down the stairs and you'll be able to find the yellow Pokeball with the TM Payday 02. It's pretty simple. In order to get the TM40 Swift, you will be able to get this as you are headed to the train station. Hop should be able to give you this item. So this one is a little bit more of a story item in order to get TM40 Swift. In Churchester, you can actually learn the move Draco Meteor. So if you go around and talk to this guy in the video that I'm showing you, in Churchester, you can actually go ahead and learn that to a dragon type Pokemon if you haven't already gotten to learn Draco Meteor. So in order to get somebody who gives you a Battle Campbell move, you can actually get it in Hammerlock in the location, as you guys can see, where I walk down in the video. You're able to teach your Pokemon Fire Pledge or whatever other Pokemon you have. You will be able to teach it a special type of move called Battle Combo Moves. Moves. 